No, Lee's story this half hour. Global warming is the world's major threat. In the past decades, water scarcity has become more common. Well, Sub-Saharan Africa has endured relentless droughts and water challenges. To mitigate this, technology is now showing a new path. All right, so unfortunately we don't have that clip there that we wanted to play, but for more on the story, we are now joined by our reporter, Matlaka Okomane. A very good evening to you. Thank you very much for joining us. Essentially, tell us about uh, the meeting that took place uh, with the innovators in the sector. Yes, uh, good evening to you, uh, Shante, and the viewers. Today, the Minister of Water and Sanitation met with... Um, he had an interactive uh, session with innovators, uh, people that are... Um, manufacturing things that are supposed to be helping um, with the water with water in the country people that are in business of sanitation as well as water um, you know today they also spoke about how you know the different challenges that the country faces we know that um, South Africa is a water scarce country um, also it's not only that but we have you know the rural element where you find people do not necessarily have access to water and sometimes when they do the water is not necessarily clean so take us through some of the uh, innovations that they're proposing to address some of these challenges. Uh, we, you know, the, the, obviously it's, it's, it's manufacturers coming and presenting what they then have and the minister is able to take a look and perhaps see what it is that may perhaps government is able to adopt and implement to ensure that, you know, um, they deal with the issues of sanitation. We know schools are also very big when it comes to um, issues of sanitation. We know obviously the president having asked for a report recently and um, the Department of Basic Education also coming in and having a plan as to how they would address um, sanitation issues within that particular sector. But it also goes beyond that as well you find that there are people that really do not have any sort of sanitation and he also was um, also must also remember that um, water and sanitation they go hand in hand most of the time where you cannot where you don't have running water sanitation becomes poor where you find your um, communities having to have pit latrine toilets we saw um, different uh, manufacturers coming in in particular there were some that um, there was one particular um, toilet story that um, caught my eye or rather manufacturer that were saying that he had a uh, he had a toilet where you could burn the feces and actually take out ash and discard of that so you wouldn't need water um, to do that but obviously the price issue was also a, a problem they're yeah. saying that one one particular toilet would cost around 30,000 right I mean when you go into rural South Africa that is a lot of money yeah um, there was also a manufacturer that also showed us um, he had he they have developed a, a filter that roughly he says that that would um, retail for about um, 400 rand and this filter is able to filter water from rivers and he spoke about it being able to also filter E. coli and, and the various bacteria your typhoid that you might find in water and this uh, filter filters about 200 liters of water every, every um, daily on a daily basis saying that that's obviously enough water for cooking cleaning and the basic uh, needs of a household and also saying that it was a filter that you could attach to a jojo as well we know that in, in rural south africa you find a lot of jojos there were companies there as well that um are innovators in in detection of water leaks we know that um the minister head of the department had said previously that water leaks were a huge problem we know various programs were launched to ensure to try and deal with the water um, with water leaks within the system saying that a lot of water goes um, uh, leaves the system unused and mm -hmm. it's wasted uh, because of uh, leakages as well and you know it was just various thing of also trying to make water last longer there was um, a particular manufacturer as well who had a, a toilet as well where you could after washing and doing your washing and bathing for example you could pour water into a cistern and you could use that to flush as well so there were there were very various things but I think what was also there was one that was particularly interesting where he says that you could turn a manufacturer had a machine where you could turn um, you could take um, air and turn it into water that was also rather interesting yeah yes uh, you know just speaking about some of the developments and you basically before this also just touched on um, security specifically amongst the the rural developments let's just have a look at the app that was also proposed uh, in aid of food security it's said to somehow uh, monitor rain and the and the rain patterns mm -hmm. take us through that oh yes um there, there's an app that the 
Agriculture Research Council has. Uh, it's actually, in, in, in essence, it's an app that farmers are able to okay. use. You download it for free on Google Play Store. And what it basically does is that over a 10-day period, it's, it's farm-specific. So it's area-specific, it's farm-specific. You enter your specific location and particularly your farm. And what it does, it monitors the rain patterns and the weather patterns. They work in conjunction with the weather, with the weather services where for, the, for 10 days they monitor weather is it raining? What is the weather patterns? And from that, they're able to tell you, is it the correct time for you to plant? Because it's quite important for farmers to get the maximum um, crop yield from what they plant out as well. But also quite interestingly, it also tells you what time of the day is correct for you to irrigate, because that's also quite important, ensuring that you don't waste water, where yeah. water just gets evaporated and doesn't go back into the soil to do what it does. That also does obviously speak to the issue of food security as well. It also speaks about when is the correct time to also um, for pest control in terms of farmers having to spray um, their pests, um, their, 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 their femicides and stuff. All right. Uh, thank you very much for that, Gomani uh, Matlako. Just taking us through that uh, innovation sector coming together, proposing some ideas in aid of water sanitation as well as uh, food security and the likes. We thank you very much for that.